I was going from Mönchengladbach to Bayern Munich for myself to make uh, make the next step and to win maybe more titles or you have more possibilities uh, by Bayern Munich to win titles than by Borussia Mönchengladbach. And this was the reason why I was moving uh, from Mönchengladbach to Bayern Munich. This was a good time. I was... Uh, I, I won my first titles, three three championship in four years. Uh, won one cup. We was going to the Champions League final, to the cup, the champions uh, in uh, in Vienna. We lost against Porto, but this four years was fantastic for me for the results for the, to make the next step. Then I played the '86 a good World Cup, and mm -hmm. uh, sure I. A lot of offers from uh, from international high-level clubs, especially from Italy, from Juventus, from Napoli, from Milan, from Inter. And uh, two years later, I was going to Inter because uh, Drabatoni was really fighting for me. He was visiting me in 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 Munich a couple of times in my in my home place and was pleasing me and was pushing me and was really giving his best to show me, "Hey, Lothar, I need you. I want you. Come to Inter." And uh, then was okay inter yes sure it's better than italy. okay later it was, it was no, amazing italy, no italy in this time yeah because right. one year before was not in naples uh, in my in munich uh, and was uh, make uh, like to make a contract with me two years before was ac milan uh, juventus was coming in the beginning of 80s uh, to germany to offer me a lot of money for example but i was not ready in 88 for me i was ready to make this step and uh, the motivation was the same. The players who was playing in Italy in this moment, Maradona, Carrega, Gullit, Van Basten, Zico was playing there, Viali, Mancini, Bergomi, uh, the best players from the world who is now, the Serie A was in this time, make a short explanation, uh, Serie A was in this time what is now the Premier League in uh, 2021. The yes. best players the strongest championship we had not only like in germany one team who will win the championship for the for 10 years this was one year juventus next year was milan then napoli with maratona then inter milan with the german guys and uh, sometimes as rome florence uh, sampdoria genoa with viali and mancini we had a strong uh, uh, championship like in the premier league with yeah. six eight clubs who who are ready in 10 years can win minimum one time the championship and this is uh, was fantastic for me, and uh, the same the atmosphere in the stadiums uh, was always sold out. Uh, in Germany, we had to always half full stadiums. In Italy, you was playing San Siro in front of eighty five thousand. You was going to Napoli was seventy thousand. In Rome was eighty thousand. You was going to the smaller uh, city like Bergamo, sold out thirty thousand. It was always a great atmosphere in the stadium, and for this was the right step in the right moment. And what was nice for me. Not, not only the life in Italy. We make good results with Inter. We yes. won the Seto. We won the Europe League in this time. This was a UEFA Cup in this time in Italy. We was talking about the World Cup 1990. Uh, I, I, I won the World Cup in my home country in this moment because I was living, I was playing in Italy, and uh, was a fantastic time for me. And uh, then I was going back to Bayern Munich another eight years, make another couple of uh, national titles and uh, the, the wafer cup again and uh, i i think i make mostly in the right moment the right step yes i think that, that so from uh, english culture's point of view they have a we have a real romanticism about the italian league but it was because there was a show that uh, the coverage came to uh, to england in around 93 94 because um gaza went to play for lazio so we lazio. although the, your time in serie a was such a hot spot for uh, italian football with the players that were there we didn't get to see as much of you and, and how fantastic you were as as we did uh, just a few years later so it's it's wonderful to, to chat to you about it um i've got i want to talk about your midfielders but uh, you brought it up there so i just want to ask you quickly uh, there's a comment from uh, diego maradona in his own book uh, who says that you were his greatest rival could you tell me just what it was like to come up against diego maradona because of course you did both in serie a and and in a World Cup final, uh, two World Cup finals. Two World Cup finals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was and, that like? Uh, especially, I have better memory uh, about the World Cup final ninety. He had better memory about the World Cup final eighty six. And uh, I think in both World Cups, was winning on the end the best team during the World Cup. And uh, 
uh, he was playing fantastic World Cup and uh, he bring Argentina for me alone to the to the to the final uh, in Mexico. And uh, sure, Diego and me, we had a lot of competition, but we had a lot of private uh, moments too. We celebrate a couple of times together. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we was uh, celebrating and we was dancing together. He was in my farewell game in Munich. I was his farewell game in Argentina. And uh, in this time, we had the same a couple of uh, uh, farewell games from Platini, where we was playing together in a team. We had a fantastic time together. And uh, I miss him really because uh, mm. he maybe... He was uh, the best player in the world ever. In another way, he was different how you can read it many times, maybe in the newspaper. He was somebody who was caring about the teammates. He, he was the uh, same uh, organizing and helping his teammates. And uh, sure, he had uh, another life than, uh, another football, uh, than uh, football players, but uh, he enjoyed his life uh, in his way, uh, wrong or not. This I will not decide, but I spent so many nice moments with him, and uh, really for me it was a big honor when he thought about some journalist. Lothar Matthäus was for me, or uh, was for me the best player what he played against. That's amazing, isn't it? Did you have a strategy going up against him, or you just hope for the best? Uh, I was always motivated. I was yeah. like Oliver. How I told you before, I, I when I was a child, I start. Uh, what made me most angry was when I lost a game. Or minimum, when you lose a game, this is possible, this is a competition, but you have to give always your best. Mm -hmm. And I think I really, when I was on the field, doesn't matter, during the week in the training session or in the weekend uh, in the stadium, I was giving always my best, not only for me, for my teammates, for the fans, for the club. Uh, sure. Sometimes was not looking like this, but maybe this was a day. This was not your day. Maybe you was tired. Maybe you was not concentrate or focus. But when I was on the field, I was giving always my best. Of course. Cool.